gentlemen, I'm excited to welcome you back to the second video in this particular unit. We are going to be focusing on fields of biology. So biology itself is a very large subject and many professionals don't really just major in biology and just call it a day. Uh, lots of them really specify what specific type of biology they are going to study and that's kind of the purpose of this video is to give you a bit of an introduction to some of those different fields of biology that exist. So hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to recognize that there are a variety of different fields of study in biology. There are lots of different really specific niche topics that one can go through and study when looking at biology at a deeper level. So we're going to explore a little bit of that. Some of these things will pop up as we continue on through the course of the school year. There are no key vocabulary terms for this, so just kind of relax, enjoy. Um, there will be some roots, some key root words that you'll notice pop up again and again, and we'll talk about those when we get there. Now, as I mentioned before, there are many different fields of biology. Um, some of these are very well established, been around for a long time. You look at the concept of genetics, it's been around for several hundred years. You know, ecology has been around for an extensive amount of time as well. Some newer fields of biology are emerging and they're rapidly developing as technology integrates more with life. What we find is that with more technological advances, the more that actually enhances life itself. And a lot of the technological advances have the ability to alter life and change life. And so we really want to explore those fields to see what we can do in order to better mankind. It's a really exciting field. Um, and we'll, we'll take a look at some of those here in this video. So to start off with a few easy ones here, um, you know, zoology, the study of animals, you probably think of zoo, the root zo refers to animals. Um, botany is the study of plants. Uh, lots of different varieties, lots of different species of animals and plants to be able to go through and study. Um, as you see, you see a tiger there on the right and on the bottom here, um, this is actually known as a corpse plant. Um, there are actually several different species of corpse plant. Um, it only blooms once about every four to seven years, um, but the reason it's called a corpse plant is because of its absolutely horrendous stench uh, that is associated with it. People actually flock um, to greenhouses and uh, conservatories in order to be able to watch these things bloom. I can never really quite understand that. I don't really have any desire to smell a dead corpse today. Uh, so a little bit of other fields of biology. We have microbiology. Micro, that root means small. So we're looking at the study of microorganisms, things like bacteria, um, things that are unicellular, if you remember that from our last video. Uh, we also look at genetics, which is the study of heredity and how characteristics are inherited from parent to offspring. So as you can see in the top picture here, we have a double helix structure of DNA, and below that we have a variety of different plates of bacteria. We'll be studying both of these throughout this course. Biochemistry is the study of the chemistry of life. You've got two key words in there. Chemistry obviously refers to chemicals, and that root bio means life. So we're looking at how chemistry, how the chemicals inside of our body work and function to allow us to survive. And then ecology, which you're, again, you're probably familiar with, is the study of how organisms interact with each other and the environment. Again, two very important fields of study that we will be addressing in this class. A few other fields of study here. We have something that's called cytology. The root cyto refers to cell, so we'll be studying some cytology in this class. Um, anatomy and physiology, the study of structure is anatomy and physiology is kind of the relationship between the body parts. How do those body parts work together in order to create a full and functioning organism? Biotechnology, this is a really, really interesting field. It's the study of how we can utilize technology to manipulate biological processes to make products that you know, we need. So one application of biotechnology is the production of human insulin. Um, you know, people who are diabetic, uh, some of them have to inject insulin inside of their bodies. Well, insulin can be difficult to artificially manufacture, so they utilize some concepts of biotechnology. They actually took the piece of DNA that codes for insulin production inside of the human body, and then they insert that 
into E. coli, which is a type of bacteria. Well, the bacteria then utilizes that DNA to produce insulin. And so now we have the ability to mass produce insulin. It's amazing and it saved the lives of millions of people. Immunology is the study of the immune system and how the immune system functions inside of your body. So again, two more things we'll be taking a look at in this class. A few other things, um, epidemiology, which is the study of the spread and control of disease transmission. So this is very important when we start talking about epidemics and pandemics. Um, you know, a while back, the, the bird flu was scary, SARS. Uh, if you remember, we had an Ebola outbreak. Uh, we had an Ebola scare uh, a few years ago, and epidemiologists work to understand how those diseases are spread and work to be able to control them. Um, ethology is the study of animal behavior, and this is a really interesting field. Um, now this includes how organisms of the same species interact with one another. So you think about you know solitary animals, pack animals. How do insects in a colony work together in order for uh, the the colony to be able to grow and to succeed? So lots of different really interesting studies in ethology. Um, you know being able to attract a mate that's part of ethology as well. So a really really interesting field of study. Uh, a few more fields of study that we probably will touch on but not talk a whole lot about. Virology is the study of viruses. Oncology, you've probably heard uh, you know, an oncologist before. Um, they study cancer and how cancer is, is spread and work to try to cure or treat cancer. So again, the, the whole goal of this is not to, to give you every field of biology, but for you to understand that there are lots of different fields of biology. And they study a variety of very specific topics. So for your question for your Google form today, what I would like you to do is to write down and define one more field of biology that was not discussed in this video. So you can just look this up, um, take an opportunity to do some research, find one more field of biology that we did not discuss in this video. So hopefully uh, you're now able to recognize a variety of different fields of study in biology. Like I said, there are lots of them that are available. And um, you know, it's like I said, it's a really exciting time for, for science in general. So hopefully you understand these a little bit better and we will dive into biology a little bit more in our next video. So take care and have a good day.